So hello and welcome to the channel. I needed one electricity meter with switch function and where I should be able to change the voltage and uh, cut off ampere. So I was looking and I found this model KWS302WF. This is supposed to have the meter function and also should be able to work with um, normal electricity and it is also one of those uh, smart meters which can connect with the smart life or Tuya app. So let's see what is inside. Oh, one temperature sensor. Oh, no manual. The model number is KWS302WF. So it seems to be big. And let's do the size comparison. Let's see the normal DIN switch. So it will take at least three to four. One, two, three, four. So in your DIN rail system, you should have at least four empty space. It requires both the wires, neutral, that, and the phase one. You can see the neutral edge somehow uh, not plated, and it is the load or the phase one is the plated one same with the out and there is also connected for the ntc or the temperature sensor since there are no manuals so it seems there are two qr codes one seems to be for the Smart Life app, another one should be the manual. QR codes are for one goes to the Tuya app, that is Smart Life app, and the second one goes to Kovsky, Kovsky.cn, which is the manual. And I can say, save, save it and start downloading okay so now the manual is installed uh, downloaded and we can see the this meter comes in three models one is what i have edge 302 wf another one is l and another one is without l the difference is in under voltage and other protection you can see voltage range and other things are same the switch capability is there or the wi-fi so wf only has the wi-fi capability others don't have then l and wf has have the power failure memory under voltage protection and over voltage protection without l doesn't have all these things and then the good it has how to use the Tuya app or Smart Life app. And then the normal manual, how to connect. It also has the timer function where it says the phage and the neutral wire, how to connect and the temperature sensor. That's it. So we will not go to the buttons. It can be read. read. I'm more interested in whether we can use it wirelessly or not. And we will see it. 
so here i have connected it and we can see the wi-fi symbol is flashing so we will switch to the app to add it to the smart life app before we do that you can see what is being shown the voltage how much what is currently being drawn how much ampere how many hertz and what is the till now used power now we have come to the smart life app and you can see click on the add device and this meter is being identified and at the moment we can select it and when it is them it will ask for the wireless username and password or the SSID and then it's added I have already uh, changed the name and then we can see what the interface has okay and we can see that it says it is running since nine days temperature is 22 degrees centigrade power factor is 0 0.17 and the load is very low we can also have add some timer in it some graphs how much electricity has been used every day in a month or in a year there is also countdown is there and then we can also switch it off or on so it says at the above output is enabled and if we switch it off then it should say output disable and then we can turn it on again let's see what is in the settings over voltage threshold is default 250 volts that's okay for me under voltage is also there over current I have set it to 16 ampere not more than that so here I can see it says 100 amperes max according to the specification it should be able to do only 63 but interface allows till 100 ampere so I don't trust that much then also the overload I said no more than 3 kilowatt should pass through it and so on and then power and time can be cleared oh, again output is disabled it's so maybe it was my finger which has turned it on or off okay so that's it for the review of this uh, meter with wi-fi thanks for watching and like and subscribe make the my subscriber count to 500 thanks for watching